Hello everybody and welcome back to another episode of Smelter. We've set up our empire pretty well and opened up a couple new areas that we can go into in the last episode. In this episode, we'll try to cover one or both of these lower areas down here. The areas that we have opened up. We're going to do Imergu Shock Ward first and we're going to see if we can jump in here do some good platforming and hopefully make it through we'll just have to see increasing smelters empire zone soldier population to certain amounts can give e additional health points well i would actually really like to have e have as many health points as you can Ooh, first time looks like this is your first time here normally eve is able to switch between different elements but this area is teeming with suppressive elemental energy. Maybe you can find a Doma stone in this area that will remove the suppressive energy and let you use other elements on your next visit. That's very interesting. I actually did not even know that we can switch our energies there. So let's see. Oh, I did not. Oh, God, uh, get off me. Get off me. Can we just beat him up? He was like sucking my brains out. I didn't like that. Oh, I love that water splash. That's pretty cool. Okay, so we gotta watch out for the little suckers. Oh, good. An Emigu Forge. I'm sure we could take advantage of this situation. Let's see what it makes for us. These are things that will up our power in one way or another or give us a new ability. The forges, we got a new skill unlocked. Whip Whap. Okay, I would like to see with this. So in each domain, the Garubi domain is the one we started in. Ermagu must have a different set of skills that we could do as we could switch the triggers. Okay, Gar Garabi domain are the skills that we have been doing. So look in the, this domain, the Irumagu, we have a whole different set of skills it looks like so three access three attack will give you a, a whip whap so let's check that out this is going to be perfect for attacking baddies without getting too close okay so let's see oh wow that's kind of cool it's a nice long range electrical attack that's going to be extremely helpful especially with that little face sucker we were dealing with before so that is really nice. I like, oh, wow. Can I shoot this? Oh, I like that twisty thing. That was pretty cool. I don't know. Oh, gosh. He's attacking me. Oh, no. He knows he's, those are the things for the uh, stone. Can I get up there? I can't double jump. I guess what we're going to have to do is just leave him alone because I can't get up there. But, oh, gosh. We need to make sure we get him so we don't. Yeah, we're getting Imagu power now. It looks like, and that looks like something new as well, but we can... Oh, we don't have our... There was a power where... Huh, this is interesting. How am I going to get up there? That doesn't seem to be... Almost looks like I'm jump roping the electric there when I do that move. This move here. Oh, no, not that, that one. But how do I get up there? It doesn't seem... I don't have that power jump thing that we did before. So that's very interesting. I wonder if that hurts. Okay. Oh, we have that now too. But still, I'm not... Hmm. That doesn't seem to affect him at all. This is out very interesting and I'm not sure how we're going to be able to get through here because it seems like we're stuck here. There's no way to get up there without that specialty jump. I can't grab onto that enough to double jump. Interesting. Can I? I did a little dash there. Can I dash upward? Doesn't appear that I can. We might have to go out and try the other one. Can I go? Oh, I don't want to die. That was a silly mistake there to get hit by that. There's nothing else in this area, though. 
I really don't see anything else that we can interact with or attack or let's go over and try that other one and see if we can maybe find something in there i oh i can't can i just exit out okay return to rumbly lands yeah i'm a little confused by that so we're gonna have some areas might be able to be treasured in different ways using different skills okay so I'm actually curious here. We went into this area here. This is Gumbor. I could jump in here. I just want to try something out. I want to try if I could switch out my powers here. So if I'm in here, I should be able to switch. No, it doesn't look like I could switch the power here. I could dash, yeah. That's really, oh, did we do it? I mean, it lights up and I poof, but it's still giving me that same attack kind of. That's the exact same thing as I was doing before. I am very intrigued about this whole area now and what i have done let's try to go back out to the rumbly lands and see if we can figure this out actually has a proper lane smell it there just doesn't care enough to remember it well that's very nice of him he doesn't see it seem like a very nice individual sometimes so valinos is the next one the divine used to maintain contact with the guardians, but it has long since gone silent. Okay. Again, yeah, so it's the same idea that basically if we find a Doma stone in here, we can switch up. We got this little dash there. Here we are at the doorstep of the great temple of Valinos. I've actually never been inside before. It's supposed to be some sort of metaphorical dam suppressing energy from the undershell which is supposed to be quite dangerous but fear not the great smelter is here so you'll be just fine i hope anyway commander zerma was saying they sensed a derma stone in here but the question is where also they mentioned they gained access but this damn door is shut ha <laughs> ha i guess it's now open oh I guess they were telling the truth. In we go. We did gain access in here, which is good. I have that kick. I really don't have that punch again. And that really confuses me. The very own forges, age texts that I've never read before. These are powered using energy from the undershell place, which exists under this reality. Beats me what that means, but I guess the silly priest from this temple figured out how to use it apparently i wonder what will happen if we stand on it well let's find out oh wow that's kind of scary <laughs> blaster from down under okay again this is another one just like the Irma two ermagu ermagu i think in the okay nuttoro so if we hit X, we'll shoot out. It looks like just a little, would you look at that? Seems like the energy from the undershow is flowing to your arm. Let's keep looking for that Doma Stone and maybe we'll find it more this way. Yeah, so we get a little shot going out, which is kind of cool. I like that. We could actually shoot up as well. So we're almost like Mega Man here. This does have a lot of Mega Man feel to it. Oh gosh, the little fire guy. Can I bend down and attack as well? The uh, wall grab is very reminiscent of Mega Man. Oh, I don't have the wall grab anymore. That's going to be hard. The wall grab is very reminiscent of Mega Man, even though the full style of the game is very Act Razor, having that two different style kind of. Oh, there we go. Kind of cool. That two different style. 
genre is the word I'm looking for. Can I get? I'm not sure I could shoot that. Can I shoot, just shoot it out of the screen? Is that a possibility? It does not look like it. This seems a lot more trickier than the other one. If I can get that up, I would be really happy. I am not hitting the right way. <laughs> Come on, we could do this. I can't seem to jump. Yeah, see, that's the problem. I've got to line it up. There we go, we got it. There we go, I guess that's, I was thinking that's the way to do it, but it wasn't working out for us. Sometimes I do run into an area where it's, I feel that I might be going the right way, but maybe not necessarily doing the wrong thing, but probably doing it a little bit harder than I should be. I've ran into that a few times in the game, so we'll have to just see as we go how we can get through here. This guy attacks us, so we gotta be careful. He charges us. So we want to, oh, I like that dash too. That little flame guy I have to bend down for. Got him. I can shoot him off the screen, which is kind of cool. I can't jump high enough to get that guy. Can I shoot at an angle? I can. There we go. Just run under him like that. That works. There's more than one way to shoot a flying enemy. I cannot. So we're going to have to do hopefully that. But I'm not sure if we're getting high enough. Oh, can I do the dash? No, I can't jump once I do the dash. Can I shoot it at an angle? Ah. All right, let's go over this way and see if I can find something over here. Going down. Uh-oh. We got fire, guys. Let's see if we can get these guys. I don't know if I have to kill so many. That's worked for me. Well, we almost got our little pink thing filled up, and that usually means we could do something special. I'm not sure what it means in this instance. What is... Oh, you just back that way. Okay. I like this little electric light right there. That's pretty cool. Oh, there's another one. Let's see what this one gives us. These forges are pretty cool. Gives us some nice skills here. Majestic wings. So I will be able to fly. So hold A in the air. Huh? Huh? We got wings now, it looks like. Oh, what the flim flame was that noise? Find a way out so we can check. So if we hold A in the air, it's going to allow us to kind of float up with the currents. Let's see what's over here. It barely there, so I'm thinking that it's something. Oh yeah, a, a trial, that's what we're looking for. If we can find a few of these we really, again, don't need to go through them, but if we try them and don't, okay, don't get hit. I will try my best. Gonna have to watch out for that. I'm not sure how fast I float up and that's gonna be a tricky, oh, okay. I think we could try that again. Again, if we don't get it on the first few tries, we could always come back into the... Ah, okay. I'm trying so hard to get around that. That's a tough one. We're gonna have to go at the end. There's this challenge obelisk near the beginning in which we can... We wanna be like right there. That's it. Oh, I was so close. Let's. We're gonna keep on trying. I'm getting a little bit further. My kind of rule, if, if I fail several times on one obstacle, then I will go on. Or I'll, yeah, I'll move on. But if I get a little bit further, I'm gonna try one more time here. Because I think I can get by that. And if I can get by this one. Ah, just that little bit of drop makes it a little bit harder. Okay, that is enough trial there. 
but again we can go and do that in the challenge obelisk if we want to come back to it i think that's what i possibly could be go up and see oh what the this metaphorical dam is completely flooded looks like energy seeping up from below something tells me we shouldn't go for a swim in this stuff let's try gliding over to that ledge over there okay but i can't i okay i can glide i was thinking that i could only go up so there is a little bit of a glide to this as well there we go whoa something was shooting at me it looked like oh am i gonna make it eat get up there but i'm gonna have to shoot oh gosh uh, okay can i shoot and glide at the there we go yeah but that checkpoint this is kind of tricky here we oh okay. i'm not sure if that's sucking my energy out or not it seems to be doing something oh there's a ghost fish I don't like ghost fish. Ghost fish are, yeah, go away. I can't shoot them. Oh, I can. Oh, shoot, oh, shoot. Blame me, guy. Oh, gosh. Ghost fish is everywhere. Ghost fish are everywhere. I can't seem to be getting anything from them, though, which is kind of creepy. It just run. Ah, come on. Blame guy. Jump over him. Uh oh. I don't know what to do here. Do I have to kill all the ghost fish? I'm trying to get them to go up so that I can get to they come to where you are or they kind of revolve to where you are. Oh, now that's interesting. Oh, I bet I could, yeah, as I'll say, I could get on that. Oh, did not expect that, but okay, I can handle that. Really, this is one of my first apples I've seen in apple cores I've seen in a little while. Oh gosh. This looks like there's something above me too here. Can I go up this way? Yep. Oh gosh, fire. Those fire guys are tricky. They come at you really quickly. I'm just gonna jump over them. I mean, I get a good hit on them and there's a nice stun lock to them when I do hit them, but still. Goodness, this place is a mess. Who that cleans here? Maybe I should get some Zerns in here to tidy up. I heard this place was used to house special relics used by the priests. I bet my right wing up there that's one of those relics. It seems to be giving off some strange energy. Might be a bad idea, but let's try to smelt it. It is glowing green. Oh, what? Oh, that's weird. Oh, that's freaky. It's a time one. What the heck just happened? Where the heck are we? Who's my mother? <laughs> okay, Smelter, just calm down. Is this what the undershell actually is? Hmm, let's have a look around. This is going to be very interesting if this world is like a switch, like a time frame almost. I'm worried about these guys. Oh, oh, okay, it's that same whip thing. I was wondering if that was going to be something different here. I'm curious. I wonder if the world's going to be actually different now. Okay, so I should be able to smelt that and flip. Oh, wow, cool. Holy guacamole. They really wanted to hide this one away may be dangerous hurry up and get your now green behind up on that platform so i can find out he's not very nice it'll probably be fine just do it well i hope it'll be fine yeah i got a new skill phase out so if i hold b i could temporarily pass through certain objects and avoid enemy and projectiles that's kind of cool do you feel that it's like my non-existent eyebrows are being pulled somewhere let's find a way to get out of here so does that be that so oh i can't even move while doing that that's interesting 
I wonder if I should hit that again. Oh yeah, well I'm gonna have to. Cause I can't get out. Here we go. I love this like two like world setup. So B and I can walk. Oh, we've been to some of those too. Okay, so if we go back up here and grab that again, then we'll be able to go down to that other place. Come on, grab it. We could go through this one here, but I was thinking there was another one that we can go do the, through that was down here. He looks so happy when he's just moving around, around like that. But until he sees me, he's like, ah! Oh yeah, right here. Oh sweet, I'm glad I came down here. We get at least another trial to try to go through. To fail miserably at. <laughs> of course, okay, don't get hit. There's a lot of these don't get hits. Okay, so I can shoot these and they go away for at least a little bit. That's going to be at least helpful. If I keep moving, I can get through it, I bet you, without worry. Oh, gosh. Okay, do I have to hit more or do... Okay, that was kind of tough. There was a lot of them coming at me, that's for sure. Let's see if we can... Maybe slow those down a little bit. If I can get some of these out of here before the problem is ugh, that there's so many of them here. I'm not. Ah, that's going to be a time thing. We're just going to sit there and try to fight it out here. It looks like. The problem is that some of these are so low that they, to get me there. Oh gosh. <sighs> okay. I think that's enough trying. Let's go back out. We'll get it in some other time. That's where those little coin token things are too. So that's a little frustrating. I think I need some of those or at least try to get some more of those. Oh, grab that. We need that health. Definitely need that health. Can I just have him stop right? Yeah. Do I have enough blasting to hold him on that step? And it looked like I did. So where was... Okay, there was the other one that we need to go through. Oh, and a save point. Sweet. Another light thing that we've ran into before. It kind of shining through like that. I wonder if that's just a random thing or does that mean there's a secret nearby? Oh gosh. Can I just hold them all off? There we go. There was something over here. These little bat things are scary. Oh gosh. That was a lot of stuff coming at me at once. Oh, another one. Okay. And we got these guys. Oh gosh. They kind of, I was going to say, they kind of just run back and forth, but this one was like really after me. Yeah, I really like this. I was hoping that that was something right there. It might be something when it flips back over, but I guess not. We got that whip power back up, so that's going to be useful. Ah, I, I hit the wrong button. That was silly of me. But we're gonna have to do up we're gonna have to do it like perfectly in the right area oh wonder if i could do ah there we go we got it that floating definitely helped out oh, oh whoa, i hit the wrong button i was hitting b and you don't float with b you but float with a uh all right ouch float with a float with a we can do this not getting a whole lot that's really aggressive here i mean they're aggressive but there don't seem to be a lot of difficulty in these characters 
You know what? Yeah, you know, just go. Just run. Run. Okay. Alright, smelt those as much as possible. Even though I'm full health, I think it's gonna be very helpful to do that. Okay. I got that through there. Phase. Yeah, there we go. Much better. That works a lot better when you hit the right button. Uh, I'm not sure that actually did any. Obviously, it's going to change something over there. Oh, please let me hit something. I was like, oh, please, please let me hit something there. I'm going to go down and try to get this. I think these are important these little crystals can I hold that down no I can't no he's gonna snap at me but I'm a little worried about where he's gonna be when I get over there yeah and yeah there we go I'm just gonna have to take that damage I guess oh gosh okay well they just ran off that way they do fall back asleep it looks like which is kind of cool yeah okay well that was very nice of him to give me his energy come on i really like that i gotta say i really like this effect of switching back and forth and i've played it in several games before where you have like a now and then some kind of other time frame will that let me know that does not let me go that way at all and you have to make it through the world by doing those two different times I'm gonna float down here and hopefully get this little apple core over here here we go and then hopefully that yeah okay oh, at least it opens it up so that I can go back through there there we go I was expecting platforms to come up but then you know we could use always use the little floaty thing oh he doesn't look happy oh great listener of valinos please hear my plea oh we're interrupting his prayer and that is a bad idea by hector's grace i haven't had a visitor in ages ah we're just passing through ha i imagine you saw frail little old me hobbling about here and decided to come say hello uh well not exactly oh you just made my day happiness has been lost to me since my sweet adorable grandson Zelda zalado disappeared zalado might just be a coincidence but i knew another of your kind who went by zalado but there was nothing sweet or adorable about that pain in the then no doubt your zalado and my zalado are not the same that boy would not even scratch a baby grizzler. You see, I'm making my pilgrimage pilgrim through throughout the Nutto Road domain, asking for the gods a blessing. I need to light those torches to get behind this big stone slab here to leave an offering, but jumping that high in my old age isn't an easy feat. Would you be too kind to help a cat, old cat out? Well, I could try, I guess. This is not going to go well for us. I, I have that very sinking feeling that it's we're going to end up getting ourselves in trouble here. Oh, it's like we're blasting off, and I cannot quite reach that, I don't think. Maybe we need to go to the other side here. Okay, smelt through. The, not smelt, but here we go now can i jump yeah that's what we needed to do okay well he's able to get that now and that may be a very bad looks like that did something but what do i do with this hey come down here and help me figure out what this does i don't really want to but okay can i go this way oh no the wind is blowing me out okay i see that happening okay well let's go talk to the lion should i just smelt it i guess i don't know oh there we go that's probably what he's looking for 
Wow, would you look at that? Who would have thought this would be here? I think you did, actually. A statue of Shakar, one of the deities of the Undershell. If Zelly could only see this now, say, looks like something is clutched between its teeth. Maybe you have something to knock it down? Um, yep, that will do it. That looks like a Doma stone, I would have to say. Look at that precious relic. To think something like this would have been hidden away in great statue here. Lucky for us, it's exactly what we're coming for. It's one of my Doma stones. Is it now? That's good to hear. I don't got much use for it myself, so it's all yours. I expected him to be like all up and attacking us. Looks like you got what you wanted and all I need is Val Valino's blessing, which I believe I've got. I'll be moving out soon, so maybe we'll run into each other again. We might. Fantastic. This old cat is going to stay here for a little bit longer before moving on to my next stop, Hectos. You sure you'll be all right on your old? Uh, you sure you'll be all right on your own, old man? Don't you worry. I might be old, but I can hold my own. Ha <laughs> ha. If you say so, see you around. Interesting. Okay, we still cleared the stage, which is good, I guess. I got two apple cores, got two of the two moxie deposits, which is good, and found two of the three trials. I think we didn't do too bad. Zelato, it's time for you to awaken. Our statue has been desecrated. Oh. Oh, that's not good. Uh, that's not good at all. I don't think. Oh, burning eyes in the dark? Yeah, I think that's a universal sign for we're going to have a bad time. There we go. It looks like we're able to get that one out pretty easy. Let's see if we can figure out the next one. Ooh, who's this? It's General Zermanen. My lord. General Zermanen. Zermanian, Zermanian, General Zermanian, long time no see. It's been a long time, sir. The troops have long awaited your return. Well, I'm back so they can rest easy. Also inform the troops I've single-handedly found and retrieve the Nutoro Doma Stone from Valinos. With this, the barrier has been brought down, so I'm ready to expand my empire into the Nutoro Domain. Apparently, our next step, our next stop is Hectos. Very good, sir. I will inform the sisters at once. Well, we got a nice place in here, it looks like, that we can expand to. Got some stuff we don't know what's going on. Oh, is that our... I don't know. I'm going to stay away from him. Well, there we go. We're going to have to see if we can figure out this other one or wait for a little bit and just go into this area and explore and see what we can find but we'll have to do that in the next episode. We still got a lot of places up here that we could build houses or something like that. If we need it, it seems like up here is all calm for now. But we'll have to see and wait to see what happens later. Thank you so much for watching. I do appreciate it. And I will see you all in the next episode. Bye, everybody.